what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Here's the scenario. We have a man outside of his apartment who's singing to a young lady who is on the balcony of her apartment. And the girl's boyfriend is filming this guy singing to his girl without his consent. He's serenading this dude's girl. And she's just giggling and giggling, you know, sniggling and giggling, right? That's how old folks talk, sniggling and giggling. And he's like, you know, oh, what, you like that? You like that? And she's like, well, you don't sing to me. Fam, what would you do? That's a show on television, I think MSNBC, called What Would You Do? They put people in these different situations. And oftentimes, it's got something to do with somebody having some type of handicap or some type of racial component to it, right? So they'll, for instance, like say, uh, put two people at a restaurant table and there's another person at another restaurant table who's being very, very rude to a waitress or something and calling them names or saying something about their ethnicity and people are looking around like really shocked. Like, damn, can't believe he said that. And it's like, what would you do if you heard somebody treating somebody that way? What would you do? So what I want, what would you do if your girl is being serenaded by the neighbor and she's giggling, she's sniggling and giggling. What would you do? I'll tell you, here's what I would do. Just off the top, thinking on a regular day now, because like on another day, I don't know what I might do, but on a normal day, I think my approach would first and foremost be once I come out, I would be, I would feel disrespected. I would initially begin to check dude, but if I see her sniggling and giggling and I question her, you know, what's going on? And she's like, and if, if, if her laugh is like a, you know, one of those like uh, laughs where like she's shocked that this guy's doing that, you know, and then, you know, she can, she can gauge my seriousness. Okay. And, you know, it's tempered, cool. But if she's going along like this girl appeared to be going along, like she, and, then, and then make a statement like, well, you don't serenade me. Man, I would shut all of that down. You know what? I'm going to do you one better. Get your and get out. Absolutely. You got to go, fam. What dude did was very disrespectful to me. Now, some people may look at it and be like, oh, you know, it's just playful. You know, he's just being playful. You know, that guy, you know, he's probably crazy or something. I don't think he was crazy. He's smiling and singing. No, I don't think he's crazy. I would have known pretty fast, though, once I, once I checked him. I would have known. But here's the thing, fam. That's dangerous. Don't disrespect another man's woman like that. I don't care if you call yourself not really meaning any harm. It's not your job to serenade another man's woman. It's not your job. That's his job. And if he can't do it, then she needs to figure that out. You dig what I'm saying? She needs to figure it out. It ain't your job. Quick story. I'm in the club one night with this girl I just started dating. We're not an item yet, but I like her. 
flower guy walks over, extends his hand. Inside of it is a flower, a rose. He tries to hand it to her. She refuses. And he says, it's from this guy. And he points at the guy who's sitting not too far from us. Let's just say it did not go well for the flower guy or the other guy. You don't want to do that, fam. You don't want to disrespect another man's woman. I don't care if they're an item or not. I don't care what their relationship is. If they're, what the extent of their relationship is, if they're with each other, you don't know what's going on between those people. And there are a lot of guys I've noticed that are very disrespectful. They will come right up to a woman while she's with her man and try to make a move on him. There's a guy that I know who ask, actually walked right up to this girl, this woman, at a party and kissed her in the mouth with her husband standing right next to her. Oh, he was bold. And he walked out of there alive. There was no fight, no scuff. I mean, but you know, he knew his beans from his cornbread. He knew who he was dealing with. But man, even if I was the softest dude in the history of dudes, I would have had to do something, man. Even if I just picked up something and hit him and ran, I, I had to do something, you know. I couldn't, I couldn't go out like that. But what do y'all think, fam? Y'all think I'm overreacting here? You know, that that's the case. You know, the, the, the dude is the next door neighbor and he serenades another guy's woman in the presence of the guy. What's your reaction? Ladies, what's your reaction, fellas? Drop a comment. No more talk. What, what the ladies talking about?